What's up, Digibros? Digibros! We're here today with some exciting new gameplay. Uh, so today, this is going to be our actual match of the Omnimon Red versus the Omnimon Blue. Yeah, I'm, uh, I just want to say thank you for all the positive feedback we heard on our, our most recent video, which was kind of, it was the same matchup, but it was kind of a, you know, kind of a parody of the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh style over-the-top gameplay. And we were trying to, you know, just have some fun, try to make the gameplay a little more cinematic. But right now we're getting back to basics. We're doing just some regular gameplay between Omnimon Red and Omnimon Blue. And in the back we actually have this Omnimon figure, which I thought we could see a lot more of in the camera. Oh, uh, is, that what, is that why you put him there? Yeah, I thought oh. we could actually see him. But now it just, yeah, we got his feet there. And now it looks just a little awkward. So we're just going to set up. Uh, looks like Red's going to go on to start. Uh, hatching their Coromon and uh, bombing their Piamon on top of it. All right. And oh. we're free. And it looks like he was going to go break Dramon. He's like, wait, that's a little five. Can't do that. So we're going to go just play the break Dramon for five instead. Passing on over to Blue. Yep. All right. He's going to have his Uppamon come out from the hatching area. All right. He's going to play his Electmon, drawing a card. Not sure what's going on there. <laughs> Never just pick up your deck just to... <laughs> Yeah, just I, I want to say that uh, the top card I drew was upside down, and I went to check to see if my okay. entire deck was upside down. All right, so down. you're going to play the Monzimon and Evolve. Plus the Omon on, on, on top of it. Yep. Let's see? All right. And Maybe then I want to uh, move up the Piamon from the raising area to the battle area. Oh, looks like I got that Omnimon in hand. Just, yeah. to, just to say, I'm on the left. I'm on the right. Yeah. So... But we're doing a little back and forth. Like I'll say stuff about his side and vice versa. Yeah. Noah is better at the Digimon's names than I am, so he, he'll probably be the one saying most of the names. But. And then uh, the past couple matches, apparently, Levi's been better at the actual card game since he's been uh, whooping me, getting all his we, uh, we, dick we, we don't know. We don't know what's happening. All yeah. right, so we're going to evolve the Volcanjermon on top of the Corjermon. Corjermon. My bad. Breakjermon. Corjermon's a blocker. So we evolve the Gorilla Mon on top of the Elect Mon drawing a card. And it looks like the Gorilla Mon is just going to swing in that security. And it's going to reveal another Break Dramon. It's going to be destroyed in battle. And the Plessy Mon is going to go and swing as well, revealing the Gil Mon. All right. That's one good thing about Red. Most time when you're attacking their security, they have some really big Digimon over there. Or you might hit a Gaia Force. So... It's always just a little bit dangerous tacking in the red security. All right, so if you look in the red's hand, they got a proxy right there. Um, unfortunately, the Digibros, we only own a playset of the Omnimon. So right now with us playing the Omnimon Mirror, we had to share each deck got two, and then we got two proxies as well. They're going to be the uh, upside down, the backwards cards, you know, with the blue back of the cards. So if you see one of those in either player's hand or some point during the game you see they oh, have it on the field that's what it and is and here comes omnimon going on top of the volcano he's destroying the plus he's going to pass the turn we're going to go on hatch another up -mon. i said this before and i'll say it again when omnimon hits the field the game is pretty much over <sighs> we'll see or about that it? one or is it spoilers <laughs> all right so we're going to evolve electmon over the upmon uh, we're going to evolve the groomon over the gummon and a gorilla mon on top of the electmon just trying to draw some cards Looks like we're trying to search for our very own Omnimon. Maybe some level... Looks like we need level 5. Yep, there goes the Monzimon. I love the way Monzimon looks. I know you say you don't like it, but I think he's super cute. Yeah, a little evil teddy bear. It kind of reminds me of a Fluffles. If you played Yu-Gi-Oh, that was the archetype. And so it looks like you're going to evolve uh, and then hatch. My bad. You're going to hatch and then evolve the Agumon in your raising ears. Right. So. And then Omnimon's going to attack. Use his effect to return the level 6 to his hand. And he's going to attack again. So it looks like Blue's only got the 3 security left. Uh, well, it looks like Red's got 3 security left as well. Now, Piamon doesn't really want to attack in the security. Uh, it will more than likely die. I believe it has the... It's either two or 3,000 DP. 3,000. Right. Yeah, but he does gain. No, he doesn't. Uh, the <laughs> the core mine gives him plus a thousand if it's a uh, level five or higher, I believe, or if it has four uh, evolution sources under the Digimon. So it's meant for like level six Digimon. Hmm. Looking at that whole mon in hand, and you also have another volcanic Dramon. Volcanic Dramon, once again, really good card. Uh, no, there just goes the Mono Dramon. It's like 
I am just trying to get as many Digimon on the field as possible. Yeah, but he did just uh, drop that whole month straight up for 10, maxing out the memory for blue. You know, that with 10 memory, there's a lot of possibilities. Yeah. And but, just trying to put that pressure on the field. Yep. So uh, let's see. Looks like he should. Yep, yeah, he I mean, should be able to go up into his own Omnimon here if he's got it in his hand. Uh, Which I'm not sure if he does it. I actually I want to say I did not have oh, it at dang. the moment. So yeah, play some on. Just gonna he's gonna gain the memory. Uh, he's gonna draw a card for the Pokemon, and he's gonna gain the memory from the Zudamon because the opponent has a Digimon without an evolution source. All right, there goes another Zudamon. Now I'm going to say we evolve another Plesiomon. Yep. Yep, double Plesiomon. Really just trying to dig for that Omnimon. It's a... All right, and it looks like he's going to gain another memory from that Zudamon when attacking. And he runs into the Gaia Forest. Oh, man. Hitting Gaia... See, that's what I'm talking about. It's always a little bit dangerous attacking in the Red's um, security. I guess Which just... I guess it is with Blue, too, because you can run into a Kakaia's Breath. I don't know, it's just that Gaia Force is just so, so strong. Yeah, no, no. I Definitely, Gaia like, Force. the strongest option card we currently have. Yeah. Uh, and there goes, arguably, Blue's best option card, the Hammer Spark. You think it's better than Kakai's Breath? Uh, there, you can argue them. They do two different things. Maybe it's just going to go and gain that memory back. Let's see. Does he have the Omnimon? He no, does. he has the Electmon, though. Oh. Electmon, arguably just as good as Omnimon. <laughs> uh, there goes and the, the Puppetmon. Puppet yeah, Puppetmon is crazy good. So Puppetmon can win games. Yeah, he's just trying to. He wanted to drop uh, another Digimon on the field, so next turn he could try to swing through the rest of his security and attack the game. So Puppetmon's gonna come in and it's gonna make that Homon rested, and now neither the Homon or the Omnimon can be made active during uh, Red's active phase. With uh, three Digimon that can attack, all of them being level threes, and he has the three security. Uh, he might just want to risk it and just start swinging that security, try to go on push for games. So the following turn, he will be able to... Oh, there goes another Omnimon. Alright, and I'm going to pop that Plesiomon just to make sure that next turn he is not able to drop an Omnimon on me. Because if you drop an Omnimon and take out my two Omnimon, I basically lose at that point. So, yeah. You just got to be careful when you're playing an Omnimon mirror of summoning Digimon with the, the same name. Because Omnimon could just summon and clear the field. Oh, and he's going to hit an Omnimon over there in security. And he's going to... Gomamon. Yeah, hit Gomamon. He's going to die. And Agumon's going to attack. He's probably going to die. Yeah, another Gomamon. So. Yep. So, Blue... Or, the yeah, Omnimon Blue has no security at the moment. Red has one. But he's realizing that he's only got one security and he's got two Digimon. So he's got to get rid of one of them and he's going to drop the Volcanic Dramon to do that. Honestly, that Volcanic Dramon right there just won him the game. We don't we don't know No, that. We, we do know that. Okay, we know that. You had the one security and you got two Digimon. Uh, you got one of them off the field and now you can only attack one security. Yeah, a lot of times in this game you'll see that you'll count your security and then see how many Digimon your opponent has. And then you have to kind of decide what you have to do to get rid of them so that you don't lose the next turn. And that's what's really good about Puppet, uh, Puppetmon and Volcanjermon and Holy Jermon. They all kind of help keep you in the game. Right. Now we're going to go on and drop that Zudumon, draw two cards. I believe you have evolved a... Uh, yeah, we evolved. We hatched the Uppamon and actually that looks like a Demi Demi. So we hatched the Demi Demi and evolved the Gomon on top. Right, so gonna... yeah, for, we're just going to go and attack that security and reveal yet another guy of force that's going to destroy the Zudamon that was just dropped. And I destroyed the Zudamon instead of the Puppet Dramon just to make sure that he wasn't able to go up into a level 6 and then eventually into an Omnimon. So basically you just want to make sure your opponent does not get an Omnimon. Right, that's so the right goal. now if we had another Puppetmon in hand, uh, this game would be ours because we could just come in with a Puppetmon. Uh, put the volcanic Dramon it rested, and then he couldn't make any of them active. But alas, we don't. We only have the one blocker. Uh, we know it's game. We're just gonna swing with the Omnimons. And yep, Omnimons gonna swing. We're gonna block that for no reason. Yep. Because he has two other Digimon. He's just gonna go and attack with them. All right, moving on to game two. Man, pretty good game one. Pretty one-sided. The 
the red deck did kind of blow the blue deck out of the water there, not going to lie. Because uh, I think it was mainly just because he got to his Omnimon first. I say he, because I got to my Omnimon first. So, yeah. And so we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to go on and hatch the Demi Devi involving the Gabumon on top of it to draw a card. And there goes our Grizzly Mon to draw another card. It's like, the blockers are really good, but it's like, with Omnimon, they can just, like, destroy them, especially if you got multiple of them. So you just really need to watch yourself about not having multiple Digimon of the same name. Yep, there goes the Dark Tyranimon on top of the Coromon, right? There goes the Lava Garitamon on top of the... I'm glad you can the, say that one's name. I can never say <laughs> La, la, lava Burrito Mon. Lava Burrito Mon. Lava Burrito I love a burrito, Mon. That's it. So, yeah, so we're going to go on and move on up that. Oh, there goes that Placio Mon. Ooh, right out, right out the gate. Mm -hmm. He's really trying to set up for that Omni Mon. But little did he know, he just gave his opponent a ton of memory, and he yeah. has an Omni Mon in his hand. So. <laughs> Get right. Yep. And it looks like he can go Omni Mon without even ending his turn. I keep saying he. I'm going Omnimon without even ending my turn. And I'm going to destroy that Placeomon. Draw a card for Evolving. Man, it's really solid. And Omnimon's going to attack. Returning level 6 to hand to make him active. And he's going to attack yet again. Yeah. So we're going to uh, run into the Hammer Spark. Uh, man, that's like... like Hammer Spark's really good in the security because it gives you two security... My bad. Two, two memory. memory. But if your opponent's at one, it's just going to leave you at one memory. Where, arguably, before, they could have put you at more. Uh, I mean, but then they'd also have more Digimon and more stuff in the field. So you'd right. almost kind of rather end their turn and just cut it off right there. I don't know, man. Having one memory, it's... Especially with both these decks, neither one of them are playing uh, any tamers. So well, <laughs> it seems like either way, you were going to drop a Placeomon. So. Right, like, my Placeomon's going to live. Yep, so he just drops the Placeomon, passes over. He's going to hatch his egg. Uh, I don't even think I have a level 3 in my hand at this point. Oh, yeah, I do. Right. I got the Monodromon. I drew into the Agumon. And right now, it's also kind of, like, scary to see that he has a level 6 uh, blue on the field. Because that means if the Omnimon could be next turn. Oh, look at that guy Force in the hand. Yep. Yep, looks like he's just going to try to set up for the Gaia Force uh, back there in the raising area. That nice way, that's set up for the Omnimon. I mean, for, that, for the Omnimon, yeah. That way he can't be destroyed by anything. And then he's... If I remember correctly, I probably just... Because I saw the Gaia Force. You probably just want to swing and then just Gaia Force that place you want just to make right. sure. I believe that's exactly what's going on. So Omnimon's going to swing, running into the Monzimon. Which stands no chance to Omnimon, okay. might I add. Uh, and the, yep, there goes the Gaia Force. Gaia Force. But you are giving him seven memory. Not gonna lie, I was pretty, pretty tilted at this moment. You can see a lot of, a lot of hand gestures, a lot of... <laughs> a lot of, <laughs> a lot of what the heck going on here. Uh, yep, I can't keep a place you want on the field for nothing. Not gonna lie, my hand also was not great. Uh, I'm gonna say by turn two, I had... Oh, man, there's the third place you want. Yep. Crazy. Like I said, my... Did you have an Omnimon in your hand at this point? I, I did have Omnimon in my hand, but I also had four Plesiomons in my hand. So. But you could, if you could have just kept one of them on the field, it would have been fine. But someone, I'm not going to say who, uh, wouldn't let me. It'd be hard to say who. So Omnimon's just going to swing into the security, hitting that Gomon. Uh, there goes that Greymon. You know, trying to set up, you know, for some more level sixes, either another Homon or a uh, Volcanic Dramon. And there goes a second Omnimon. Uh, we did state this earlier that the proxies right here are additional Omnimons. Uh, we do only have uh, one place in. We got to share it between the two. And so once again, that was my third place Omnimon. That was destroyed. Very not happy. You see me throwing the cards, kind of. Uh, you know, it's a fun, casual, you know, games, but it's still very upsetting for every time you put a place Omnimon on the board so you can evolve your Omnimon. It gets destroyed. Oh, uh, but it looks like you're going up to your level 6 now, so it looks like I'm about to lose both of my Omnimons. This is exactly what I was talking about uh, last game. You don't want to have two of the same Digimon on the field against um, Omnimon. Or if you're going to do it, make sure you don't leave them enough memory to go up an Omnimon, because if you do, you will lose. So, right, so there goes the Metal Gururumon from the BTO one. 
All right, this one's a really good one where you can play one of its Digi Evolution sources at level four or lower. So you're basically getting a level three or level four Digimon from under them. So he's really good. You know, start setting up for an additional one. Or if you bring one out who has effects, like you can bring out the Gobblemon that lets you draw a card. You can bring out the Blocker. Uh, it's really good and stuff like that. And I believe that's exactly what we do. We're just going to go on and tag, bring out our Blocker. And sadly did not hit an Omnimon or a Guy Force. Yeah. And he made him active for a reason I'm not sure. Oh, because he's, okay, he's just going to evolve. Yeah. All right, and yep, there it goes. He's going to destroy both of the Omnimons. His Omnimons effect states you can destroy a Digimon on, on your opponent's side of the field, and if they have another one with the same name on the field, you destroy that one as well. So, yeah, wipe my board, and it looks like Blue is in a winning position now. I'm trying to make that comeback, you know. We got embarrassed during game one, and the the vast majority of this game two has not been too kind to us. Our pleasure mods have either been Gaia Forest or Pop via Omnimon, so we haven't been too happy about it. Um, but it looks like he's just going to set up all these uh, Hope Mons again. And it looks like there's another Gaia Force in oh. the hand. Looks See? like I was just loaning him. I think I was just loaning him my Omnimon just so the viewers at home could know yeah, what was he going does on that there. Just so, just so he can Gaia Force it. Yep. <laughs> Surely I don't do that. That's the very next thing you do. <laughs> I think I, I do. I, I, I think I, I attack. I don't think you attack. I want to say you can Gaia Force it straight. Okay, oh, okay. See, see, I play one card before I Gaia Force it. Yeah. I'm not that insensitive. Actually, no, I I think I Puppet Mon you. You're right, going to block? So I'm going to block it. Do you, do you have one security at this point? Or I is have that one. two? Uh, I believe it's one. Okay. So you're going to block that. Yep, Gaia Force. Just get that Omni Mon out of there. The salt is so real. So you've now lost... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to return my borrowed Omnimon. So I let you borrow it just to Gaia Force it. Man, I see that. That slam down on the, the trash pile over the there. The salt is real, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, so we're going to go on and raise up that Gobblemon. We're going to evolve the Groomon on top of it. Maybe we can get the combo going where you attack with the Mel Groomon, play the Groomon, make the Mel Groomon active, attack, get the Gobblemon. Yeah, so we're just going to go on and bring out that Monzimon. And there goes the Plesiomon. So, Looks like you're not doing the combo. Yeah. Man, lots of Plesiomons this game. That's the fourth one, I believe. It is the fourth one. And uh, we've seen one of the Metal Guru Mons already. Oh, I actually believe I crashed my Plesiomon into your Ho-Mon. Because if Cause, I did yeah, not... Yeah, this is another situation where he has one security left and I have two Digimon next turn. So you got to figure out a way to deal with... To get one of their Digimon off the field so you don't lose. Also, yeah, this situation actually comes up a lot in the right. game. And it's uh, very important to pay attention to who they have in the back if they got one in the raising area. Because uh, you might, like, not, like, count them. Maybe you're, like, trying to see how much security you have. Yeah, because if they have, you have three security and they have three Digimon on the field, you'll think, I'm fine. But if they have one in the raising area that's coming up next turn, they technically have four Digimon. Right. So that's just something you got to keep in mind. Then we're going to go on and activate the Hammer Spark, trying to get an extra memory. We're going to drop that Electmon. Not going to lie, I thought you were going to drop the Holy Germon just now. Yeah. But nope, just Electmon. That, that, would have been, that would have been super, super dope to drop the Holy Germon, get that recovery plus two. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Man, this is exciting gameplay. <laughs> and so there goes the Grizzlymon. All right, he's going to bring up his Dark Tyranimon. Looks like he just drew another ho o -mon. I think I also have a Holy Jermon in my hand as well. So. You should let me borrow it. <laughs> so you're going to go and evolve that Break Jermon, and I want to say you evolve ho -mon on top of him as well. I don't know, that's like the thing with these like cheap vanilla Digimon. Like I only left you with two memory, but that's still enough for you to go up into your... Uh, Oh, my. oh, there goes the Agumon. Yep, again, I think I'm just trying to put as many Digimon on the field because he has one blocker and one security, so that means he can stop one attack and I can just get rid of his get rid of his uh, last security there. So yeah, We're going to go on and evolve the Gomamon on top of the Uppamon. Yeah, a lot of times instead of climbing up the ladder, it's better just to put more Digimon on the board just so you can apply more pressure to him. Unless you're able to go up into, like, you know, your boss monsters, like, Omnimon and stuff like that. 
I don't know. With the two Digimon on your field, uh, I like to look at it like I have a blocker and I have one security, so you're going to need at least three Digimon yeah. to beat me. That's how I like to look at it. And there goes the Monzumon, dropping us down to the zero memory. Honestly, I don't know. It's still not looking too great for Blue on. There goes the Metal Gurumon. All right. Once again, it's always good to try to set up in your raising area because that way there's no way for your opponent to touch them because option cards and uh, Digimon's effects do not affect cards back in the raising area because they're not technically on the field. But yeah, I'm going to evolve that green mon for two. I'm going to draw a card. Looks like you drew and took the Gil mon. Mm-hmm. Because here you got to consider, do you start attacking? Because who he'll just block whoever you attack. And I do believe the what's his name? Corjamon? Yeah. Corjamon. Yeah, Break Jermon, my bad. Break Jermon does get a thousand attack because he has more than five in his trash. So he's at seven thousand right now. Which actually saves him because he doesn't die from that gorilla mon. Right. But he's uh I decide not to attack with the Greymon. Greymon because he would just die, so he would just die for no reason. Actually okay, never mind. I was gonna say he would you need to like really think about like Oh, I can attack with my Digimon, but that blocker has 6,000 DP, and mine only yeah. has 4,000. So, like, you're better just leaving it there and just, yeah, here's me again, just putting another Digimon on the field because he's got one blocker, no security, so really I just need two attacks. Unless he can put another blocker on the field, I just need two Digimon in order to beat him. But I'm putting three up there just in case he drops another blocker. I don't know, even if he does, uh, even if I do, like, Omnimon you right now, uh, that's only going to take out, actually... And I attack over with the Metal Gurumon, and that's going to go out and play the, yeah, the Gomon. And let's see, it would be really good if you can, like, evolve another blocker on top of that, which I believe I do, actually. Yep. yep. So, yeah. See, right now, I got the two blockers. He's only got the two Digimon. See, it's weird how just, like, single cards kind of change the shift, shift the, the advantage of the game. Cause, yeah. Oh, man, yeah, because he not only has the second blocker, he now has Omnimon. Whereas, uh, you know, just like two moves ago, it looks like Red was winning. Now it looks like Blue's winning because they got two blockers and an Omnimon on the field. But he also gave me six memory. So right, depending yeah. on what I can do with that, it kind of determines how this game's going to go from here. And I believe you also have a Puppet Mon in your hand, which is actually huge. I believe I do as well. Yeah. Guys, if you are not playing Puppet Mon in your deck, consider playing Puppet Mon in your deck. He's really good. He can save you some games, I promise. He wins games on his own. Yep, I promise. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, I believe. Uh, I think I go up in the home on right now. Maybe not. I want to say this is you, you drop the puppet mine during this turn, and. Yep. I want to say I do too. I mean, you you, you want to make sure you do as much as you can before yeah, you do yeah, that yeah. because he does. Yeah, don't forget to yeah, evolve your level 3 over your Digitomon because if you forget, uh, yeah. not only you there get There goes but... the Puppet Mon, resting yep. one of the blockers. If you don't know what Puppet Mon does, whenever he's played, he's 11 to play, you can rest one of your opponent's Digimon, and the next turn, none of their Digimon can be made active during the active phase. So, so right now, now yeah. the Omnimon and the mine cannot be made active. Yeah, so he basically just made two of his Digimon useless. And now he's down to one blocker. Unless he can find a way to make him active, which there's not a whole lot of cards that can do that. Right. Unless it's by its own effect. Uh, example, Old Force Vigermon can make himself active with his own effect. Yeah, so Puppet Mon's not as good against Old Force, but in most other situations, he's good at saving you the game. Because right. like right now, because uh, uh, Omega Mon, who's on the field, can't attack twice. Did you say Omega Mon? That's Omnimon. So Omnimon, I apologize. Respect. So the, it's the same thing. So the Omnimon, he can attack twice, but he cannot be made active. Because uh, if he did, he could take out two, and the uh, blockers could potentially take out two of the security. Uh, it's not great to attack with the blockers, because you want them to block, especially when you have no security like me right now. Uh, I think at this point, I've honestly realized that I lose, because there's nothing I can do. He has the two Digimon, and I have the... Two blockers on my field, but one of them's rested. I can't stop both attacks. Yeah, so guys, it's as simple as resting one of your opponent's Digimon can win you a game. Just like simple little moves like that can just swap yeah. the yeah swap the game state from you winning to you losing. Right. So like right now, I'm just trying to evolve stuff up or cheat, digging for another blocker, which I believe my other two blockers are in my grave. So actually, at this point, I am digging for the Holy Jermon. Which is another one of the staple Digimon, like the Volcanic Jamon, like the Puppet Mon. Um, 
one played, it costs 11 to play. If you have three or less security, you get recovery plus two. So if I had that right now, I'd recover plus two, and then I could block one attack with the blocker, and I'd live and potentially win the following turn. Potentially. Unless I had another. Omnimon. No, another. Um, <laughs> Puppetmon. Puppetmon. Which I don't think I do. But yeah. So crazy card. Wait, wait, like, you know what I just noticed? What's that? We haven't misplayed yet this game. <laughs> Man, we normally misplay 100 times. You know, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get someone commenting saying we've misplayed like 12 like, times. But actually. <laughs> actually, you've, uh, you, uh, you, it's a mandatory effect upon, which I'm sure we miss a lot. Guys, the card game is not in English. Not yet. Uh, once again, we're going to do a quick shout out. Our beautiful playmat we have right here, this retro style playmat, we got from the lovely people over at Chosugoi. It's a wonderful shop, Alan Go. And we actually do have a discount. We do. We so, discount code for them. If you so guys want, what's it, 5% off? If 5% off uh, any Digimon products they have, they have this beautiful mat. And they have, you know, it's like keychains, lanyards. Um, oh, wait, we're messing up. Really cool Hold on. Stuff. He's dropping a Puppet Mon, which is going to arrest my uh, Lava Greedemon. But yeah. Yeah, you get a 5% discount code. We're going to have a description. Uh, yes, the yeah, link discount to them. code is Digibros. Uh, we're going to have it linked in the description along with a link to their shop. So, yeah, so if you guys want any, like, of the cool Digimon stuff, make sure you use our promo code. Uh, tell them we sent you. Wonderful people. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to get back into the gameplay. I dropped my own puppet mon. Uh, alas, it didn't do too much. So, yeah, there's that. Not wanting to shake the hand right there. And once again, thanks for helping us hit that 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for all of the support we had on our skit the other day. Uh, we are the Digibros. Digibros! We'll catch you guys later.